Happy June, everyone, and welcome to California Live. Malou, this summer has a very different energy to it. I am ready to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning, Danny. Yeah, compared to last year, this time we are feeling so much more uh, joy, feeling the sunshine, and a lot of smiles out there right now. <laughs> a lot to celebrate. And June is also Pride Month, and we wanted to kick it off with some fun. So I headed down to the <laughs> Abbey. In the heart of West Hollywood today to do something I've never done before drag brunch but not only that we are celebrating an iconic landmark here in West Hollywood the Abbey and the Abbey's owner David is here and first of all congratulations 30 years yeah 30 years that is <laughs> outstanding what was going through your head when you decided 30 years ago that this community needed a place like the Abbey well when I was coming out to the bars when I first came out everything was behind closed doors and I wanted to add to the city's environment where you feel acceptable and but I wanted to be outdoors we live in Southern California enjoy this weather tell me why the Abbey is so important to this community um, acceptance Feel who you are, be who you are. We don't care. Everyone, especially living in Hollywood, is our VIP. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. And I think you said something that just a moment ago that I thought was so profound. You said when this started, this was a gay bar, but you said now everyone comes. It, that, that's <laughs> the joy. You know, we do still get people like, oh, there's not enough gay people here. You know, it's so mixed. And the diversification is what we've been fighting for. We've had so much discrimination and hate in our community. And when I hear that, I'm like, team, job well done, because everyone is accepted. Yeah. Would you say that this is not just a place that you come for drinks? Like, it's a place where people can gather, organize, share thoughts. <laughs> it's all of that and yeah. above. And people come for a drink, and they're here seven hours later still, <laughs> still having a good time. And David, I love it here. I, I, I'm confessing, I've had to be kicked out when the lights come on at like a 2 or 3 a.m. here. It's, it's fun. And this, I mean, drag brunch on Sunday, all these people are here. What can you expect when you, when you, when you see it? You know, I let the artists and the art artists entertain the crowd. Um, I let them do their thing, and I'm still shocked many times. Yeah. They're really true early, our performers, and especially in our community. We love drag. And we love brunch, and we know everyone loves a bottomless momosa. Yes, see, we do. And what are some of the other features? I keep hearing about this key lime pie. Oh, wait till you try a <laughs> key lime pie. It, it's good. I, I worked with my chef, and I, I like a really thick cream, cream cracker crust, so it's triple. Like, you have to use a steak knife almost to get through the crust. But when you get that in your mouth, you're like, damn. People are like, can I take a pie home? And we run out many, many times. And that Rice Krispie Treat, I had to take a bite. I couldn't help but not take a bite of the Rice Krispie Treat. It's pretty big, David. It's pretty big. <laughs> but Dave, again, congratulations on 30 years. So iconic, so Thank important. Thank you very much. All these people love you. I and love we love and we love you and I can't wait to get inside. I want to play around. Let's go. All right. It's going to be Pride Month. Not only is Pride about me and new friends and old friends, but we got to remember how it started. David is addressing the crowd right now, but they let me steal Barbie away. I have to admit, this is my first drag brunch. I love it. Well, welcome. Why her, is this so popular? Well, thank you. Of course. And why, why is this so popular? Why do people come here for the, for the brunch? They just love brunch here. You know, it's a big part of what with Hollywood culture, gay culture as a whole. And I feel like the Abbey really has expanded themselves to make sure that drag is included every single week, several times a week. And the people love it, they show up for it. It's a good release for people coming home from work or about to go to work the next morning, they want to do something fun. It's just always been a release for them and us as well. I was about to say, what about a release for you? Yes, of course. <laughs> and you look wonderful. Thank you. My mother made this, and she's here in this, watching the show today. Yeah, That's my mom. Awesome. She makes all my outfits. She makes all your outfits. Yes. So what can someone expect when they come but to I, a Barbie year, show? You can expect dancing. You can expect LGBT sass and fierceness. Um, and I try to make people happy. And I try to make other people feel fierce as well by watching me be fierce. Yeah.
And, and you know, hour, they David has a lot of supporters here. I know you're one of his supporters. Of course. Why streets. is David so important? And looking up you know, he started this from literally the smallest the little seed, and it's and grown into and probably and the biggest gay empire. California has, sometimes the world. We've been rated the world's top gay bar, nightclub, restaurant over and over again for many, many years. And I think people really appreciate the story and where he came from. And this was just a coffee shop 30 years ago. And now it's one of the biggest nightclubs that employs so many LGBT people around the world. And if you come here, you need a job doing anything, whether it be washing dishes or being a drag queen, he's got you. Yeah. Well, I know that the audience but is waiting for you, yes. so we're going to let you go, but I'm, you. But I'm hoping we can play a little later. Yes, let's do it. I'm down. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, baby.